timber. That is silver, Jack. Sterling, it says. <laughs> Grundig? Grundig's a good brand. Oh, wow. Ooh. 1694. I never, that's the oldest thing I've ever found. Previously on Locker Nuts, this was an exciting day at the auctions with quite a few nice looking units up for sale. The competition was stiff so the storage auction pirate and I teamed up to buy the one we both wanted the most. This 10x10 had been sitting for years and was covered in dust and spider webs. It made us have to have it and we paid a whopping $5,000 to get it. So far it's been everything we hoped, filled with vintage treasures and stuff we've never seen before. Even though we paid a lot, we think we stand to make a big profit on this one with items such as pre-World War II trains, military items, tons of sports cards, and a vintage police uniform. Amazing! Day two and we continue the dig, and I think it's going to be exciting. <laughs> Alright. Okay, that's flea market. A little serving tray. Wait, is this oh, silver plate? Probably. Oh, look at this. Like super strong. No, I'm not. Huh? That's part of the waterbed. Yeah, we're gonna keep it. Nope. I'm sure at some point that style's gonna come back in though. Oh, that's gonna come back in. Yeah, right after oh, we dump great. it. Yeah, that we're never, we're <laughs> Don't hurt yourself by doing the yet. They didn't see that on my channel. They didn't see me fall on my channel. That was only on yours. If, if the viewers don't see it, it didn't happen. Okay, ready? Timber. Oh, that, I thought that was gonna do something bigger. Okay, oh, and here's the clock. Huh. It's all right, I'm off the four clock. There's a call in there. Those shabby chic places would love it. Cause that's a real deal, right? That's all weathered. Yeah, that's the, definitely the real deal. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Can I break it? No. Always the wise guy. Always the wise guy. Hmm. Oh, it does look like it. Does something. Save this for packing, Jack. I don't know. From our auctions? Can we sell the finer stuff? Pack it up? Is that worth keeping or is it just, it's just a little poster? I think it's a poster, but... Just throw it away? Yeah. We got too much stuff, so we... We, we really do. That would have been a really priceless painting had we found that. F. Grossed. This is kind of cool. Just the declaration. Oh, that's neat. And then we have this hmm. ship one. SS Madison. That's oh, cool. I guess we'll keep those. Just get a paintbrush and brush them now. BBK, that's their name. Hmm. <laughs> Duct tape's brittle for me. It's funny. Mm. What is this? Oh, Sterling. Wait, no. I thought it said Sterling. It's still nice, though, because... It's plated. What, look what it is. I guess that could be buffed out, right? Yeah. This looks kind of promising, Jack. Ooh. Is that sterling? I don't think so. It's hard to tell, because that really does look like sterling. I think the salt does this. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. We found that same stuff we found in the chicken one. Hm. It's a matching set here. An electro plate. That's better than that one, right? Got a, a lot of stuff set. here. That's sterling. I think. I know. Got a whole set of these. Wedgewood's good. Yeah, there's a set, this whole box is a little fragile. Look at that. A huge set of these, Jack. It's all different teacups and plates. That's, that's sterling. That's great. Yeah, it's good. Ooh, look at this. Silver plated. Uh, the Bonson burner thing. It's like a candle, isn't it? 
You, it goes under this thing and it heats your food up, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Dish. E P N S. That's cool. It's silver painted. That's pretty. It's nice. It's, it's quality. You can, yeah, you can feel the quality on that. That is silver. That is silver, Jack. Sterling, it says. Weighted sterling silver. Oh man, that's nice. Family heirlooms. Yeah. Huh. Silver paint. Silver broke. bell. This is awesome. Sealand Officers Mess, U.S. Air Force Base, England, Captain Bernard Keller. That's a cool cut right there. Sterling? It's not sterling, it's plated. That thing is nice, though. That's sterling. No? Made in Denmark. Hmm, is it a piggy bank? Yeah, a little coin bank. It looks like maybe it's a good plating. Prima HG made in Denmark. That is nice. Look at that. Look at a little gecko on it. Some good stuff. It's plated. I just need one of these. Ooh. Damn. Look how heavy that is. Knock oh. somebody out with that. Huh. I don't know what this for. Ironing? Pressing? Tortilla press? I don't know. This one's really corroded. It's another one of those so officers' gloves now. That's tight. It's miss. Huh. This one? Silverware? Ooh. Actual sterling. Cute little salt dish or sugar dish, maybe. I don't know. That's sterling. That's sterling. That's a cool little scent. Oh, yeah. Like it's got a little rabbit on it. Like oh. a, maybe an Alice in Wonderland set or a Peter Cottontail. Peter Rabbit. Hey! Oh, there's a ton in here. Wow. <laughs> Bavaria, Germany. Oh, this is a nice little box. I think that we could actually sell some of this in auctions, you know? What? We could sell some of this in auctions. What is it? Just all the little teacups and stuff. Oh, yeah. This is really nice stuff. Shelly, fine bone china. This is nice. That's what this is here. Another one of these. Huh. Another one. Okay. That's good. Really good. That was pretty pricey. It looks like, was it a lamp or a... Oh. It's a dome for the ceiling. This screws in the ceiling. I think it's the whole lamp or something. I don't know. Oh, wait, well, yeah. So what's this? A thing that goes on top or sits around it or... I don't know. I don't know either. It's different. Oh, look at this. We're getting back here. Parts of the skis there. My back hurts. I'm not bending over. Look at that, Jack. Did you see this? I haven't looked at it, but it seems pretty tight. <laughs> Grundig? Grundig's a good brand. Oh, wow. Grundig Majestic. What is all this? Is this German? I'll look it up in a second. Very cool. Oh, these knobs feel nice too. Quality. All right, that's pretty cool. Is that all getting in here? Grundig Majestic, and then here we have the Klang 3D. Huh, that's neat. All right, let's get in this box, but look at this real quick. Look at the spider webs, gross. Look at all this. Look at it. Yeah. Take a break for me. Come look at all this. Look at all this. Goodness. Oh man, there's a lot of boxes. This is what's is that a rifle cool. box? It's just a box. Yeah, <laughs> yeah light. A rifle box. Sure looks like it. Yeah, it sure looks like it. Garbage? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that's good. 
People love these. They're good for removing your fingers if you stick your finger in there. I remember when I got my first fan. I was, I was one of your first fans. <laughs> you were not. The good stuff, Jack. I need to see good stuff. Uh, this is kind of cool. <laughs> that is cool. Copper? Yeah, it's a bedpan, right? Uh, is that what it is? is when they call them a bedpan? I don't know. I think it's a bedpan. You heat it up and it keeps you warm or something. Oh. Yeah, that's not what I was thinking. I think bedpan, but... Glad you didn't film that. Huh? You thought you saw a spider? Oh, it was tape that touched my finger. Good to stop that. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. What is this? Is it almost, almost over? Still neat, though. Yeah. Looks nice up on the. What is that? 79 cents? 79 dollars? 79. Maybe it's 4,000. Huh. It's cool. Polished up will look nice in someone's cabinet, you know. BF Goodrich, what? Was it made of rubber tires? Yeah, I think so. Nice. <laughs> oh my goodness. My hands are so dirty, I made it worse. Acme boots, Acme. It's like on Bugs Bunny. Hmm. We'll set those aside. Okay. Huh? Look at all of these, Jack. Frosty. Old. This is actually very similar to the tin that I found in the 9200 cat. Is that right? Yeah. All right. See over here, we got some musical cases. Here we got one, two, three. We're gonna do those on the Pirates Channel coming up. We also got an interesting briefcase right here. You looking here? No. Oh, okay. I saw the back of that. Olympic. Oh man. Where is all whatever goes in there? It's all empty, I think. Oh, there's more stamps though, huh? Oh wow. And a bullet. That's good, right? <laughs> good stamps. Looks like there's gonna be some type postcards. Of Stamps and postcards. Country education program. Oh yes. Oh, that's an old one, huh? 1940. World's Fair. Ooh, here we go, Jack. It got better. Oh yeah. Oh, don't know if we can show this. Let me hold it for you. Not that we have a problem with showing history, but some things are not wise. There's the it's all cor corroded, though, see? huh? A little German yeah. symbol. But remember, I saw one of those on a Boy Scout coin yesterday. Look at that. Chicago, 1924. Bell buckle? Yeah. That's heck of cool. Look at these. They're flags. Oh, one in here. <laughs> think that's silver sometimes it's white gold no kidding mm -hmm. it's a good box jack i feel it getting better as we go 427 we we'll get a hemi uh chevrolet look that was it that. that's in the corvette right 427 yep yeah. i don't know look at that that's nice oh we got something coming something coming jack i feel it Here you, <laughs> you keep going no, I don't. We're on your video. Look at that. Look at this. Officer dress, mirrors. Okay. Come on. What is it? <laughs> Stamps. Stamps. It's good. It's all right. Look yeah. This. It's a little tiny one. That's pew, like pew pew pew. Ooh. Oh, this is like the other guy we found. Remember? These are money. They're a little messed up and stuff, but it's a whole little set of those British guys. Huh. Stamps. Mm-hmm. Nice. We'll keep them in those boxes. Sell the whole box on an auction. 
Yeah. Very nice. Look at that. Old wrestling. Old yeah, it's good. Old knife. Old knife. Let's see what's in here. Ooh -hoo. More stamps. Look at there's some postcards. postcards. Yes. Hmm, some letters. Some post More postcards. I don't want to touch them too much. This is a good little box, yeah. Yes. All right. <laughs> Jack gets excited. I like finding stuff for our auctions because I know when people want to buy it, that means people like like That's seeing money right it. There. That license plate. Yeah. The whole box is good. I like finding stuff that people get excited about. This is pretty much an all auction box. Yeah. Oh, this looks good. Did you see in here? I opened the top up. <laughs> and it looks exciting. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, maybe not. It looks like books. Well, this is cool though. Ingber, made in the USA. It almost looks like sterling. I found a couple of these in my day that are sterling. This is a really nice one. They love these old purses. neat too. This just feels nice. Look at the feeling. So such can you imagine how long it take to make that? All those little beads, they're all threaded. See, there's gonna be look like several boxes of them. Is that what this is? Oh wow, okay. Huh. So these are for player pianos. Some of them can do all right. That's the ones, so look, QRS. Wait, what? Whoa. I still think they're money because you see there's potential. It might be a slow sale. Yeah, but there's a big difference between 200 for a lot and 400 a roll. That looks like the ones that are expensive. It does. That could, if, imagine if that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times five is 30, 30, 35 five times. times four. Imagine that's you know how much money that would be if that was an average of 400 a piece. Oh, yeah, seven grand, one box, 14,000. Oh, okay, I was way off, but there's more than that box. If you look right here, here's a whole nother one. You know, these are not what are these? Oh, they are, but they're just in a different. Well, we got a lot of research to it. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, what have we got in here? Ooh, this is good. That's decent right here. And it's plastic, this is a long box. This is gonna be good. They did a great pack job here, Jack. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a, kind of a cool pattern, but it's a flea market, I think. Yeah. At least we don't have to unwrap a million plates. Yeah, let's not make the mistake of Look at that. That's new old stock. Too bad it wasn't on a ladder. 1995 though? Yeah, I know. Still good, right? Oh, yes. That's a good card. Two more, more shirts. It's Coke stuff. Another new old stock right here. Candy coated chocolate buttons. That's disgusting. Right, they collected a little bit of coke stuff in the 90s. Some more plushies. I'm not going to take them out because of that. All right. Find a good spot for that. But then here you see polar bear clock. Oh, let's get this guy out. Plush. He's gotten a little bit. Oh, you could, he'll clean up. He'll clean up. And this right here. Oh, that's neat. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, that's looking neat. Seriously? I don't even want to touch this. I'm already messing it up. 1811. That's that's probably the oldest book I've ever seen. Wait. Mm -hmm. Could that be a 1707 book? 
What does this say? Oh, man. You know we're going to get some hateful comments for touching these books with our fingers, right? Probably, but... Very different. I think we'll set these. There's an old-looking book on the bottom. Really old. Definitely think these are worth hanging on to. Look at this. Sixteen ninety-four. Holy crap! What the heck? I never. That's the oldest thing I've ever found so far. Seventeen twenty-six is the paper I have. It is sixteen right there too. Yeah. <laughs> Con Look. Condition is pretty good, right? right? I mean, it's seven sixteen oh four. No. 1694? I'm just typing in book with the copyright of 1694. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah, I don't know copyright subject matter ma matters that 1897. much. This is exciting. Okay, I thought this is Gulliver's Travel. Wait, this is Gulliver's Travel. As you can tell, it's a giant right there, but it says Lemuel Gulliver. Travels into several remote nations of the world by Lemuel Gulliver. Dude, this is this is something right here. Look at this. The corner of it's burned. Probably they're reading it by candlelight back then. <laughs>